So we are entering the submarine. Oh, we gotta wait. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, okay. Back up. All right. Oh, no, there's something. There. Officer. Yo, good morning. Hey, so we're here to get breakfast. I don't Yo. think anyone's hungover. Like, we, didn't yeah, that's questionable. <laughs> we didn't drink that much. We didn't drink that much. I don't know. Right? Yep, so our plan today is we are going to the Rada first. And then we're we going to the Saturday market, right? Yeah, and then there's some other activities later. A lot of activities. A lot of activities, so it's going to be a full day. This is our last activity. So this is what I, what I got, just the big, basic style combo. I don't know why I'm drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee, but that's what Mo got. Yo, Mo, that's sweet, man. Everyone else is eating too. Yo, we are here at the grotto right now. Um, we're just going to break. Quickly. <laughs> <coughs> Again, we go here every every year. My family. Famous grotto. It's this guy's his first time. Um, Jay, Kim, and Mo. I don't know he's taking pictures. You want Kim? We are here. back. Yeah, building the Yo, we are here at the um, C O M S I. At it's like a science science center, convention center or something like that. And then it's like science world, but it's in Portland, so I don't know. Most said they have submarines. I like to see submarine. I've never been in a submarine inside, so here we go. We are here. We're excited. Um, the, the marketplace was closed. It wasn't open this season, they said, so we went there first, but there was nothing there when we, when we got there, so yeah. That's why we went straight here instead. Yep. There we go. Oh, see. You know? The biggest screen and sound around. Not around the world, just around in Portland, you know. Cash me outside. How about that? Yeah, cash call outside. Yo, this guy's banging. Look at him. This guy's dancing last night too. Crow man, come get the moves. He got the moves, man. He got the moves. He got the moves. Yeah, so we are inside. Yo, Jay, what's up? What's up? So that's that's the like virtual tour inside, and it moves. We got that, and we got the, the submarine tour. So we gotta go now. So these guys are explorers. Man, look at them. They're so excited. They're so excited. Yeah, we're, we're starting our tour, the sub tour, so we're gonna go inside the submarine, man. I can't wait, never been inside a submarine. Catch me outside. How bridge, man? Never been inside. A lot, man. So the tour is right there. I mean the tour, the sub submarine, you can see the head. So in order to get in the submarine, you gotta go through that tiny hole right there, tiny hole. See, Kim, you fit, bro? So we're so excited. We're going inside a submarine. Torpedoes away. You know? <laughs> so that's the submarine. It's huge. We have to tour ourselves. We have to tour ourselves. <laughs> yes. There's no tour guide. Portland. So look at that. We have to do the tour ourselves. Entering the submarine. So this thing is like. I just. It's there, man. You'll probably explain a bunch of things. I can't say anything right now. Some people are then. But what was your question? I might not cover that one. When was a submarine in use? Like during World War II? I don't know. I just make stuff up as it comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell me that it's World War II submarine. And... No, it's not. Oh. oh. Dude, oh look at that. Doing that kitchen. Yes, yeah, so let's get everybody around that table. 
Will you guys go first? Yeah, have a seat. This is bad. Cool. This is awesome. <laughs> so did you say you were in the military also? No. Oh, okay. Does they look like they would take you? October 1990, America's Navy was all nuclear reactor powered submarines. It cost $21 million in 1959, which is equivalent to about $2.5 billion. And she was the best submarine in the world for about a dozen years. But all you young people will see you get old at some point and don't work as well. <laughs> she was stationed here and here, pretty good places to be paid to live, San Diego, California, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, and every place up there with a the red dot is where she visited. Thank you. 1959 to 1990, all of us. So some of you are from the Philippines. We are. We are. All of you are from the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. Don't tell the Russians we used to spy <laughs> on the Russians. So yes, yeah, she is a spy submarine while they were spying on us. The 85 sailors consisted of eight officers that lived up here in officers country and 77 enlisted men that lived down below. We left most of the ship in original condition and served out here on the table. Uh, they would do paperwork, relax and so on. And this was also the subs surgery table. So that's a mixture of cool and creepy, eating and surgery on the same table. <laughs> that's table. Cool. Shit. Not kidding. Badges from many, many, many different nations. There's about 460 submarines in the world, and the U.S. has the biggest fleet with 75. We were in the movies. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Hunt for Red October. There's a shot in our torpedo room from that film. Oh, wow. And we were also in the old television show. They have this in Canada now, television. This is Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. And there's McGarrett. Hawaii back in 1968. The original McGarrett. The original, the original McGarrett. Oh, the commanding place. Whoa, this is awesome. This is so cool. It's like in the movies. Spy, spy, uh, submarine. Spy submarine. Yeah. Main gyro compass. Grab that barrel switch. Whatever that means. Okay. All right, you want to see what the white lights are? Yeah. I do this. I show them what the white lights look like, and then go to red. So there we go. Whoa. And it's a transition. It goes a little quicker. Don't follow them downstairs. You'll never be seen again. <laughs> Be sure to look through the periscopes. There is no app. You have to physically stick your eyeball up. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, Come on in. Nice. Look around. Oh, this doesn't work. Wow. Oh, I love this old cool stuff. Oh, let's sit down. What is this? Kim. Look at that. 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 Look you can't see it from back there. Ready? Let's go. Alright, everybody put your seatbelt on. This one seatbelt. Let's go. Look at the look at the screen. <laughs> oh, there's nowhere to go right now. <laughs> drive. That's nice. So we've all heard you've got the con and this is where you have it, because this is the control road where any of the officers qualify. So oh, we can look at the periscope. The the deck will be commanding the submarine. The military is not very nice to uh, newcomers. I don't know if that's a couple of different reasons. Red if the captain wanted to tell the crew if it was nighttime outside, you would do that. But generally, mm -hmm. it's to give you better night vision looking out of the periscopes when you're spying on the Russians. Mm -hmm. Now, you hitting that just reminded me of something. Currently, there is no shorter height limit for submarine sailors. Because you volunteer to do this and you're so tall you're hitting your head, it's not our problem. <laughs> According to the Navy's website, oh, excuse me, website, or you don't know what I'm talking about, the current height limit to join the Navy is six foot eight. What? what? And I have seen three submarine sailors that are six feet eight. Because if they want to go on submarines when they're this tall, if they get really, really tall, they still go on submarines. So we're going to go down and see the torpedoes now. It's really like, tight here. It's the one requirement. No on high S. Take a right when you guys get down there. We're jumping ahead of the boat.
this one right here? Oh, this is the bed. Man. What the fuck? Damn, look at that down here. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. So this is like, damn, look how small. This place is so small. Oh, the bathroom. Torpedoes. I want to make sure everybody can see the television right up here. This is huge. Oh, yeah, that'll be coming to your country yeah. soon. Come on in, television. Come on in. Oh. Let's get everybody in here. This are huge. Oh Come my on goodness. in. Uh, torpedoes. Torpedoes now. Look at that, man. You can carry 22 torpedoes in here. Eight on this side, eight on this right. side, six in the launching tube, three up and three down. So here we go. The big ones weigh 4,000 pounds a piece and carry a 650 pound explosive warhead. But these are very, very safe. In fact, as some of you have seen, guys sleep up here. Especially, again, guys that are too tall, we can just put two mattresses together. But this becomes a very popular room in which to hang out. Because of the coldness, because it's far away from the hot and noisy engine room, and look at the height of that overhead, it's like taking a psychological break from the confines of the sun. All of this was built without using a computer, using about 57 years of submarine uh, technology and experience, especially a lot of and it's so cold under the North Pacific where the Blue Back spent most of her time, you can use this as an adjustable refrigerator. So you put apples, oranges, eggs, butter, cheese, and so on in every nook and cranny you find. Who would like to launch a torpedo? The first one to raise their hand. Who, oh, let's let the lady do it. She raised her hand uh, first. So ma'am, torpedoes. That's nice. You don't say fire on a submarine or a ship unless there's something to be put out because there's 85 firefighters out there ready to go and you can't call the fire department in the middle of the ocean. So get your finger on the trigger and here comes the command. Two, three, range, mark and shoot the tube. Now let go and look more excited than that. Now let go and cover your ears, it's gonna blow. It's not that loud, it just adds. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to come down right there. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Down through there. That's crazy. It's also the escape hatch. Oh. So torpedoes come down there. As well. uh -huh. And then so when, when they fire the torpedo, it goes through this hole. And there's six launching holes, those ones. Well, you want to pull for up and then panoramic. And then after... Like you can launch six torpedoes at a time, which is awesome. This looks like a spaceship though, not a submarine. We're at the back. Back of the submarine. So you got two diesel engines up top that you walk between and one down below on the third deck. And it is not yeah, as complicated oh. as it appears. So please make sure all three of your silver switches are pushed up. Nothing bad's going to happen. Push them up. Three of them. Push that button down one time and let go. And we'll see if we start an engine. Again, I usually have four or five year olds do this. <laughs> Keep an eye on the gauges. Make sure they don't go all the way up to six and we'll see if you started the engines. <laughs> oh, looks like you started the engines. Hey. You just jump out of the chair, right? You're having a bad day, coffee and ice cream in the safe. Food went down every four hours. 
Yeah. And what was the most commonly served food item on here? Most people don't really think of this. Pancakes. Simpler than that? Potatoes. 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 Yeah. Who doesn't like potatoes? <laughs> They're chock full of vitamins and nutrients. They don't cost taxpayers a lot of money and they don't have to be refrigerated. So they will store a lot of the 10 pound bags of potatoes. Oh,